Kelly. And so sad he feels me as a very bad man. So much so that ever since death, three years ago, were some of the bad things of that done. When he sentenced me, the judge, he called my actions despicable and inhumane. But he didn't realize that the people I killed, they were all despicable and inhumane. Every single one of them fuckers deserved to die. I just saw bad and cruelty in all of them. They reminded me of a lot of the people from my past, I suppose. Actually, there were no supposed to doubt it. They did remind me of those people. My mother, she was a drug addicted whore who showed me no love but a lot of hate. I was actually a product of an act with one of her clans. Yeah, I guess she just saw like me growing up. She started kidding me off to the sick part of one of fathers from the age of five until I managed to run away at 17. When I think of it, those fuckers did to me. It just makes me want to kill again. I still smell their sweaty, filthy bodies. I can still feel those bodies rubbing off my touch me all over. And the pain, the pain of those fucking deviants ailing me, violating me. This is fucking excruciating. I mean, I was only a child. Do you know what that does to a person? It fucking twists you. That's what it does. I had to get away. I, I just had to. And when I decided to leave, I knew that there was only one way to do that. And that was to kill my dear mother. When I told her I was leaving, you know what she said to me? She said, you fucking pussy, you never leave. But I proved her wrong, I can tell you. I threw her fucking brains out. <laughs> and that felt good, pleasurable, you know. And so off I said what I saw my path to freedom. But on every single step I took, I came across somebody who reminded me of my mother and those bastards who abused me. At first, I tried to resist my urges, which was to do with them what I did to have mommy dearest. But those urges became too great, and so I took action. And I killed the fuckers, straight out, and I made no goddamn apologies about it. Like I said, they all deserved to die. Which leads us to where I am now, telling you my story in my last moments, waiting to be executed for my so called crimes. Death by electrocution, that judge said the day he sentenced me. But you know something? I ain't even scared. Because no pain I feel now could compare with the pain I spent most of my life with. Hell, I'm even looking forward to it. Anyway, I've been ready to go. I can hear the guards coming down the corridor. Freedom, ladies.